This portion of the CU podcast is sponsored by NordVPN. It's what I use to keep myself safe online, and you can too. If you care about the privacy and the security of your information, NordVPN is giving you 70% off, Ian. Not 70% off, Ian, but 70% off a three-year plan. Only three forty nine <laughs> a month when you go to NordVPN.com slash CU podcast or use code CU podcast at checkout. Plus, you get an extra month of NordVPN for free. Today, it's very, very important to have a VPN. Uh, if you're doing anything online, your information and browsing habits are out there for anyone to get hold of. When you use NordVPN, there are thousands of super fast servers in 60 countries, and those connections secure your information using military grade encryption. And there's no data logging. That means your information and what you do online is nearly impossible to track. There's an automatic kill switch, which shuts off the internet if you're disconnected from the VPN, and it works even in China and in the Middle East countries like United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia. There is a NordVPN app, Ian, for your phone, your laptop, computer. So that means when you're getting free Wi-Fi at the coffee shop, airport, whatever, walking around, things like passwords and banking info are harder to get a hold of. It works on PC, Mac OS, Android, iOS. There's unlimited bandwidth and a money-back guarantee. Other potential benefits, maybe you can hop on servers around the world and you know access different streaming videos on different services that you couldn't where you live. I'm just saying, we're inside, you can you can try it. Start taking your internet security seriously. Again, get that special offer. Get 70% off a three-year plan and one extra month of NordVPN for free by going to nordvpn.com slash CU podcast or use code CU podcast. Take control of your internet experience today with NordVPN. All right, Ian, we have a Patreon. Mm. Actually, we're not at the Patreon yet. Mm. We have a uh, scumbag seller sellers week. of the week. week. So this article comes to us from Vice. Well, this topic is a Vice article. And this is about resellers using checkout bots are driving the Nintendo Switch shortage. Motherboard traced some of the recent automated Switch buying to a particular new bot that anyone can use. This article is by Joseph Cox. During the global coronavirus pandemic, Demand for the, I should have blanked that out, during the certain public health crisis, demand for Nintendo Switch console has skyrocketed and retailers have repeatedly run out of stock. Season and opportunity, some price gougers on Amazon and eBay are selling Switches for hundreds of dollars over the recommended retail price. So we talked about bot buying before, and we did speak about it, I believe, when the Switch came out. We brought this up. This isn't an entirely new topic, right. I, I think, to this program. Or using sites like Brickseeker, for example, where you could, uh, they base them off of that and they, they go to the inventory, automatically buy them, or you use Brickseeker to even see what's in inventory at your local stores. This is not new. No, and that, I think we brought it up actually when we were talking, I think, because didn't we? Did we ever talk about? We did. The, uh, the Supreme Pinball Machine that Stern made. I mean, people who are into like sneakers and clothing they and use fashion, fashion they use these. That, that's where this comes from is, you know, people who are using these to get limited edition items, you know, clothing items and things like that. But what's, what's interesting about this one, Ian, is that this is a bot that was created specifically to get these switches. That's what this article uh, looks at right here. So uh, this bot uh, is being offered, it's called, what is it called? The bird bot, right? And so its creator said, I decided to make it as a joke, but I, but I quickly realized how, just how powerful it could be. Nate, the creator of BirdBot, the open source tool for quickly purchasing switches, told Motherboard in an online chat. So now that this is on the market, um, you know, it's fair game. Everyone's out and doing this. There's picture, a picture posted here. I guess there's a Discord server. Where people are talk There's a BirdBot Discord server. One guy shows a box of, it's, it's like he has like 10 of these in a box that he, he used with this to purchase. Uh, Nate is a reseller himself, although he sticks mostly to sneakers, he told Motherboard. Nate acknowledged that the bot is designed for both resellers and people who want to grab a Switch for themselves. The only problem with that is that most average person doesn't know about this shit or right, how to exactly. use it. They're not tech savvy. The people enough. who know about this and use it are the people who already know about it and use it. Yes. Me and my friends were talking about reselling Nintendo Switches, and at one point, my friend nicknamed Bird told me I should make a bot, and here we are today, Nate said. This week, around 600 users were in the Bird Bot support Discord server. When Motherboard joined, chat logs from the server indicate it has up to 1,000 participants recently. Some of the users explicitly say in sections of the group chat that they are trying to sell consoles or they share screenshots of offers they have received for their stock. I love the screenshots. I always hear about this other crap about people bragging about screenshots of, of stuff that they're scalping. It's like you, you got to brag about it on top of it. Oh, look at this. I'm, 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 I'm gouging people. Um, 
Others are trying to capitalize on the stimulus checks the Treasury Department is sending to Americans this week. Here's a quote. Yeah, mine are taking so long to deliver. I want them to hurry up while someone still has some money. One apparent res- reseller said, referring to the switch. Or is you fucking scumbag. Yeah. Um, Birdbot users are managing to source switches in bulk, according to screenshots there in the, shared in the Discord, especially in the hashtag success channel. On Thursday night, one moderator of the community posted a Walmart link in the important section, adding everyone in stock. Within minutes of Motherboard checking the link, all the switches have been sold. All of them from Walmart. The bot herders don't always win, though. Some users reported canceled orders from retailers. Wow. Okay. I also saw, also in this article, it said that they sometimes get uh, insider info from people that work for some of these stores with the links before they go live. So, so making it then impossible Possible. to get it, even if it launches <clears throat> real quickly. So you're not shocked that this stuff happens, but obviously with what's going on in the world right now, it's just, it just gets just that another, another uh, mark of uh, sleaziness on top of it. But hey, I don't know that I would necessarily recommend doing this. Um, but if you want to, uh, you know, not have to pay a scalper, uh, apparently you can uh, build your own switch. Yes. Well, real quick before we get to that, I want more and more people to know about this. This is why. The more people that know about this, the harder it is for each individual scalper oh, yeah. to make profit off this. And plus, it evens the odds. Yeah. So the, I want this to be, to be oh, yeah. The more people who know about it, download it, and even just run the bot to fuck around are... Yeah. yeah, I want millions of people to know about this. Yep. It evens the playing field then. And then maybe that scalper can only buy uh, two or three instead of buying 20. So it, it, it helps everyone the more... It's capitalism the more people know about something like this. And it's not hidden, you know, in the dark. So go go download the bird bot if you're looking for a switch. I want more and more people to get this. And then the fi- one of the final quotes was was uh, that they're, oh, I, I can't wait for... Uh, oh, I can't wait for them to do the the... Yeah, I, I can't wait till the the mass restock because Nintendo is shipping more of these. Again, please wait. Please I wait. I can't wait these. for the mass restock either. I can't wait. To, is that a person who's scalping saying that? Someone scalping said, like, "I can't wait till the mass restock." I'm not sure why. Because anyway, you're gonna try to buy fifty. Or I was gonna say, I, stuck I, with them. Oh, I, 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 I can't wait for it either because it's gonna be great when they decide that they're going to fucking try to push it over the line just one more time and then, end up with fucking fifty Nintendo Switches. And then, 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 hopefully, the retailer saying you can't return all these items. You bought them. Yeah. Because that happened with the, what happened with the Wii U. Remember the Wii U? People, a lot of scalpers, because yep. there was not as much demand and yeah. there was more more supply. A lot of scalpers got fucked on the Wii U. Thankfully, remember the pyramid shots of the Wii yeah. U's. I love watching a scalper get fucked. It's one of my just favorite things in life. Yeah, because it because it, it's a, you people don't factor in their time to to into this. Their time and effort and the losses they take accumulating this stuff. Uh, besides, obviously, you are losing money on on some platforms and taxes and things like that, but. All it takes is like one bad guess to wipe out your gains that you tr- you made. Yeah. Even like a year or two before. That's all it takes potentially when it comes to this stuff. So that's why I love it. So Ian, what are you saying about making my own switch? Well, it was under, I thought it was you know going to be part of this. Uh, usually yeah. we do the scumbag till I last. So it's uh, uh the guy did build a switch. A guy went out, sourced the parts, and built the switch. That's what he's saying, and. Uh, you know, we'll try to take that at face value. Um, it seems unreasonable for that to be a thing that happens, but people have done it before. There was a guy who built an iPhone, uh, a, an iPhone from scratch, sure, uh, doing the same thing. He sourced the parts. Um, so uh, this article uh, by Andrew Lazuski on Kotak or Gizmodo, um, you know, goes a little bit more into the details of it. Um, the guy does have uh, a a tutorial, I believe. Yes. On the how user to do is Sarbaz37. It's a tutorial on how to do it. But yeah, so uh, he sourced all the parts. And there's pictures here of all the different parts. Um, he sourced them from Chinese factories and repair centers. Uh, took him about a month to source all the parts and said that it took about, it was about $200 to get all the parts. That probably does not include the Joy-Cons? Or does that include the, Oh, it includes the you Joy-Cons. You can build your own Switch for about 200 Okay, that includes... Using the, replacement and repair parts bought from China and online auction. Okay, so the Joy-Cons, that'll probably, that's going to run you. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then the build itself looks pretty crazy, but at the end of it, he's got, uh, you know, a Nintendo Switch that looks honestly shockingly kind of like mine. Only his controllers are green and mine are purple. He's got he's got, a he's real, got the translucent. He's got a real D pad on his left one too. Yeah, so does, <laughs> so does mine. That like I, that, those are probably the exact same cases that are on mine. Only okay, mine are clear purple and his are clear green. Gotcha. Um, so it looks nice. I mean, it looks. 
absolutely like a switch i would love to see the uh inside of it i know i can pull that picture up uh, if I go to the other website, um, way too complex for me. And as yeah. the article states, uh, this is probably more of a, I just wanted to see if I could do it sort of thing. Um, you know, for a hundred bucks less than what it would cost you to buy a new one, if you could find one, um, or the same price as a light and going the official way, obviously there's no op opportunities to screw up. Um, it's said that there are many, many places that this build could go absolutely horribly wrong. Oh, sure. Um, so, you know, that it's it, it's not like you can do, you know, for 75 bucks, you can go out there and give this a go. Uh, you know, there's there's some risk involved, um, and it may not be worth it. But it's still neat to see someone do it, and uh, it's the stuff that I like to see right now during this lockdown. Um, people going nuts and getting clever with how they're going to do shit. Okay, I'm looking at the parts right now. Uh, oh, the, the parts with the prices on it that does not include the Joy-Con. Yeah. So you're still going to be spending 250 or so. Yeah. We'll just say. To get two Joy-Cons used or about that much? Yeah. Oh, oh I got to sneeze. I'll cover my shirt. Oh, okay. I felt I, I fended off the sneeze. Great. Um so I guess what is what's the you've got to find get the firmware file and load it up and you're good to go? Yeah, that's the question that I I, I have more questions about how they got the software on there than the hardware, but there it is. I guess you yeah, you just take it off the switch somehow. I guess if you know how to do this, you can do that. Well, yeah, I mean, on. I mean, it, it, I'm sure you can get it. I mean, it, you can get the firmware file from Sony for the PlayStation Four. You might be able to get the firmware file from Nintendo's yeah, website. Yeah, sure. Just or transfer it, it. It's floating around. around. It's been well. Dumped, that yeah. was more my question. Yeah. It, was it gotten in a a legit way or a non legit way? But I'm sure actually now that I'm thinking about it, it was probably just a legitimate firmware update. You can probably just get it like you can, like I said, the Sony or the Microsoft ones. This would be something if I had free time. I'd be like, yeah, screw it, let's try to do this. If I know how to solder, I sort of learn how to solder, but you know, once I learn that, is that the most complicated thing? You know how to solder, or is there anything else you? Have to I do? mean, it looks like extremely complicated soldering. Oh, it's, it's complicated. Yeah, it's not just like, oh, we're going to connect that. No. Now. Okay, so that's why this is not for uh, even a beginner or a moderate. Like, you, you need to be. No, this is this. this is an advanced thing. This is advanced. Okay, I was trying to think. Too bad someone could be. Uh, no, you get, Nintendo would come after you if you sold these, you know, mass produced with, with their firmware on it. Yeah, they would. Fuck yeah. you. they would come at that point. They would come to your doorstep with bats. If you did that. <laughs> well, you know, it would be interesting. How much of an existing switch could you have, say you repaired, with repair parts and then sell before it becomes like a Theseus ship where it's just completely a new thing? Could I take... I see what you're saying. Like, it just like, has the motherboard. I, I, and... I'm, I'm just joking. But, like, take two controllers and then say, well, I completely destroyed my center part of it, so I just rebuilt it from scratch and sold it. There must be some. some I'm sure there is. There but must I, be but some I, lawsuit out there I, about I that. Just, I just. I want to. I want to know where that where the line. Where is. that line is. How much of of a thing can you replace and repair and, because before and it is no longer the, the same. And thing. call it the original, not a counterfeit, is what you're saying. Yes. That's a good question, Ian. That's something for Nintendo lawyers. that probably they probably know. <laughs> it's probably I see what you're saying, right? You'd be like, oh, you know, I just swapped out eighty percent of it. And, you know, I'm selling it. Yeah. That's that's one of those things that's always like uh, just going back to back to it. It's one of those things that I play with in my head all the time. The the the, the idea of a Theseus ship. Like, at what point is it no longer the Theseus? Well, just explain. So, a Theseus know. ship is a ship that uh, was in it was Theseus' ship, and it was basically in service for so long, and went through so many repairs that eventually, not a single part of the ship was original. Sure. Is it still the same ship? That's like our bodies. Every cells, re the cells are replaced every seven years on our bodies. Oh, no. there you go. You know, or some some bullshit like that. I'm like, yeah, we look the same though. We're, you know, we're not that different in seven years. Well, the hair changes in seven years. And I've had long hair now for seven years. It was it was uh, early 2013 that my hair was growing out. Pat fact there. Sorry. Now I really want a lawyer to get back to me on that. I'm very curious about at what point does it stop being a genuine article? Lawsuit. Was it Theseus? How do you spell that? Theseus, T H E T S E U S, Theseus. Okay, there's nothing about that. Oh, there's Theseus trademark and copyright law. Uh, someone named Theseus Al. No, that's that's All a right. lawyer. I'm gonna have to look okay. into this. One All right, that's, that's interesting though, because you're saying it's like well, again. The, the point is that like, what if someone charged to sell a switch and there's like nothing original about the switch anymore yeah what if someone brought in a switch for repair and it was so badly beaten that i essentially just built a new one from scratch would i be but charged maybe for selling a counterfeit maybe the firmware is still on the original chip 
Right. Like, or what have you. Oh, okay. That's all right. That's interesting. Mm. Mm. Scratching my brain. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs>